Hello friends, we're back with another readathon. Today begins the Diversathon, which is a week-long readathon celebrating diverse authors and diverse voices and diverse characters and all that good stuff. I will link down below all the past videos I've done about it. I decided that I would vlog my week, which might end up in a pretty bad failure if I get way too busy and forget. From about 4 to right now, which is 12:30 a.m., I have been working non-stop on homework so I've had to read like chapters of government and chapters of women, my women and gender studies class and now I have to read like a hundred more pages of this. <laughs> this is the book we're reading for English it's called July's People by Nadine Gordimer. She's a South African author and this book takes place in South Africa it's about a white family that's living amongst I'm not really sure where they are I'm probably you know South Africa but they're living in a society where it's all Africans. I'm not sure what the point is yet. This book is super hard to read. There's something about the writing style that just I cannot focus on. It's just super weirdly constructed. So I got this on audiobook and I listened to that on audiobook on my way back to school. I'm on page 44 right now. I have to read until page 129. I'm gonna try and read this and hopefully it got better since the beginning but if it just is way too confusing then I'm gonna have to listen to this on audio instead because dang. I will update you before I go to bed and now I'm gonna get reading. <laughs> Where's my pen? I have to annotate this too. Update. It's been about 30 seconds since I last vlog. I tried to catch up to the part I was and I read like one paragraph and I have no idea what's happening. It's so confusing. I can't stand this writing style. It's so weird. So I'm going back to my audiobook. I have no idea who these characters are, what they're doing there, what's even going on. Like it's so confused. I'm so confused. Hi everyone. This is me studying before I go to class and I messed up because I didn't realize that in the morning Kaylin would still be asleep and so I wouldn't be able to vlog and then and also, it would be dead silent in the building I'm in, surrounded by people, so I still can't vlog. So anyway, just wanted to update you with this nifty little voiceover and let you know that I am reading my book right now before I go to class. Here's what I'm doing. I'm on page 108 and 109. I'm annotating. It looks really great. I skipped the audiobook because it finally got to a part that I actually understood, so I'm actually finally reading the physical version of this. Hey fam, now I'm at the dining hall. It's really loud, I'm surrounded by my friends, but it's still really awkward. Watch me drink some water. Obviously I'm not reading during this clip, but I just kind of wanted to update you on my day and let you know how it was going. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, bye. Honey, I'm home. Yeah. You're in the vlog for the first time. For the first time ever. Bye. <laughs> so I'm finally back in my room so I can actually talk to you. It's so, you know what, I really underestimated how much I'd be able to vlog while at college. Because first of all, when I wake up in the morning, Kaylin's asleep. And second of all, there's a lot of people in public that I don't want to talk in front of. So that was pretty rough. I just got out of English class where we discussed that book. It was not a discussion at all. It was just him answering our questions because none of us understood it. Not a huge fan of this book, clearly. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a hashtag proactive student. I'm gonna go ahead and do all my reading for Wednesday right now so that I can read all day tomorrow because I only have one class tomorrow and I won't have any homework for Wednesday. <laughs> I made it to the page goal that my class had set, so I'm on page 130 of July's People. I'm not liking it. I think I kind of messed myself up listening to it on audio, because if I would have stuck with it, it would have gotten better, but like, now I just don't remember anything. It's just so confusing, like, I don't know what's go <laughs> Hopefully just these last 30 pages are gonna go by quickly, and the ending will make the book somewhat worth it. I don't know. It's time for an update, because I'm currently reading my Women's Voices, Feminist Visions, textbook. The reading assignment I have for Wednesday is a um, essay titled White Privilege and Male Privilege. This is by Peggy McIntosh and Peggy. And I am only on page two of this but I am loving it. One of the books I was gonna read for this readathon is White Like Me by Tim Wise which is about white privilege and this right here is written by a white woman just like White Like Me is written by a white man and it talks about privilege and how like the dangers of unacknowledged unconscious privilege and I just it's making me so happy it's giving me so many more like connections I just I love reading stuff like this I want to read this entire textbook for fun. Women and gender studies classes 10 out of 10. 
would recommend. That's all I have to say. Another quick update about this textbook. I'm now reading an essay called Cisgender Privilege. It is just getting even better. I just, I'm shook. I'm learning all sorts of new things. There's another list of 50 items of privilege. Things I haven't even considered before are just now like bling. So this is just such an important read for me and I'm just like, maybe I'll get to the actual fiction reading soon. I have to go eat dinner at 7.15. Right now it is 5.56 so I'll do another hour of reading and then hopefully we'll have a much needed break. Computer lighting is not cute. Hold on. Feel Hello everyone. It is dark now as you can tell. It is about 8 o'clock. The Twitter chat for the first day of Diversathon started at 7 so I've been on Twitter for like an hour and 15 minutes chatting it up. If you didn't know that there's Twitter chats going on, there are Twitter chats going on every night so if you wanted to log on to Twitter Twitter with that hashtag and we'll be tweeting questions you can tweet us answers the questions tonight were stuff like what's your name what are you reading what do you hope to gain from this experience what are some books in the past that were diverse that you liked and every day will be a new set of questions new topic of discussion my day is on Wednesday so Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US I know I just did an entire self promo but it was fun I had so much more fun than I thought so right now I'm just I had 25 notifications on Goodreads which is just Redonkulous, so I'm gonna fix that and then I'm gonna actually get going on where's my book? Nice people. I only have 30 pages left. It'll probably take me like an hour just because this book is so dense and the sentence structure is so have I talked about what I don't like about this book? Maybe if I have I'll edit it out. But if not, let me tell you. The way that it's done is it's like an English style writing where there's no quotation marks, there's just dashes. There's no like he said, she said, it's all just like dialogue by itself, no context. So it does that, but also it jumps back and forth between now, present, future, like historical aspects to the story. The sentences are literally just like random clauses thrown together with dashes and you're not sure what's supposed to be a random sentence and what's dialogue and what's it's so complicated to read and that's why I had to listen to it just to understand what was dialogue and what was description and what was happening like literally. Today in class all he did was describe what it was about because we were all like what? Now that I know what the purpose is and what the characters goals and feelings are I think that the last of it might be more interesting but right now I'm not liking it and honestly I feel like I might voice a thought I've been having right now because I didn't think it was really appropriate for Twitter but I don't know if it's just because I'm white and this is celebrating diversity, but I can't help but feeling a little bit guilty going into this readathon that's supposed to be like celebrating diversity and the first book I read I don't like. I don't know how to defend myself, like do I need to defend myself? This is me working through like how not to be a privileged person and sound arrogant. I just need to remind myself that just because this book is about an important topic that deals with racism and apartheid, the fact that I don't like the writing style of the book has nothing to do with the fact that if or if not I'm racist so I'm fine. I'm just on Goodreads right now going through my review stuff. I realize people have been telling me on my ugly love review that it's gonna be a movie so I'm gonna google the cast and you can get a live reaction. I hated the book. It was one star. Let's see who the cast is. Okay, Nick Bateman was casted as Miles. I don't know who that is but then again I don't know who any actor is other than like Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. Okay, that's the thing, is he only got casted because I don't know if he has any acting ability. He's an Abercrombie model. That's like the only reason they hired him. Can't wait to see him perpetuate gender stereotypes and be a totally unhealthy boyfriend, you know? <laughs> Who's the lead actress, though? Who is Tate? Okay, so we have a Corbin and a Miles, but no lead female actress. I see what the priorities are in this movie. Yeah, that just makes me sad, so I'm gonna stop scrolling because I just keep seeing pictures of men and no women, so we obviously see what everyone's in here for. Okay, I'm actually, you know what, you're gonna watch me do what I'm standing, peeling my thighs off my chair painfully, getting my stuff off my- why is this so- oh, my German. <laughs> it's heavy because it has a textbook in it. Bags of trash will be deposited elsewhere. Throw this dirty bra on the floor. <laughs> You know, my bed at school is comfier than my bed at home. It just makes really weird cracking noises like that occasionally. So now that I am in the comfort of my Tempur-Pedic mattress, <laughs> not. I'm gonna get reading on this. 30 pages till the end, I can do it. Let's go. Let go. I'm so sorry. It's only two minutes later again, but you know what? No, I just spent 
hours on homework. This is classified as homework. I'm not particularly enjoying it. I don't have to read it until Wednesday. I'm going to read something I want to read. Honestly, that means I would want to read Empire of Storms, but this book is basically a jar of mayo. So I'm going to read from my actual TBR. I'm going to go ahead and go against my TBR, you know me, and read the book that I told myself I might not get to. But it's the one that I feel most strongly that I'm going to enjoy for some reason and that's Golden Boy. I want to thank everyone that corrected me in my TBR because I said this was about a gender fluid main character but it was actually intersex which admittedly I had to google the difference and I feel like super embarrassed about it but thank you to anyone who corrected me. I feel so bad that I somehow misconstrued those in my mind. But yes this book is definitely about an intersex character Max and so I'm gonna get started on this one. This one is 343 pages so I just want to see if I can get halfway through this. I have nothing to do tonight, so usually I stay up until 2 a.m. Hopefully I can get some stuff done in that time frame. Kaylin. Tidepods. I would just like to vlog how good my hair looks right now. Uh. Uh. I'll bring it up. contact you by line. I'm sorry, those were really weird noises, but do you see this? You see this? That is just oh my goodness. So long. Well first it's so wavy. I never learned how to read. May I ask what's in the microwave? It literally just looks like a pillow. You never had one? What is that? It is a little pouch and it's is it food? a little pouch no. with like is it food? unpopped no. no, it's unpopped popcorn kernels and they warm up and they're really hot. Cause your girl's cramping. Oh, oh I thought it was. I don't want to touch it. No, touch it. It's warm. Yeah, cause you don't corn everywhere. She has thrown. No, nine oh four, Whitney. Why is there a hole in it? You wanna know why there's a hole? Because you threw it on the ground. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Major loser. <laughs> whatever, major loser. That's so two thousand and like four, Kaylin. But I guess you didn't know that because you're not hip with the times. So cool. And then Twitches, when did Twi come up when Twitches came out? Oh, look up when Camp Rock came out. Did you not see the diss that Demi gave What's Her Face with the blonde hair? Twitches try me. Try me today, Twitches Caitlin. came out try before Camp Rock today. and they did whatever major loser. So don't even get your time right. That's what it, it, that is exactly what I'm saying. Demi roasted her What is ass happening right now? Whatever major loser. I know, but Twitches did that and Twitches oh, came dude. out before Camp Rock. Exactly. It was a different <laughs> time. That's when it was cool. When Twitches came out. How old were we? Six? It was still cool then. It was. And now, we're, how old are we now, You're Kaylin? You're 2000 and late. Let's <laughs> wait. You said 2000 and late? Like as like in the when black Fergie RP. said it. Fergalicious. Bye. You know when that song came out? Hey, Julia. In 2008. It is 2016. Yeah. Kaylin, try me. Try me today. <laughs> Give me a reason, Kaylin. Give me one. Do not throw my back back there. You witch! Go get my stuff. Kaylin, do not put my stuff in the hallway. Okay, oh okay, you've done some really childish things. Did you unplug my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Drag me. <laughs> Drag me. <laughs> Can't. Bring my stuff back in here, Kayla Deutsch. You pee, you flush, you get in the shower. <laughs> The door's unlocked, so someone else can just come in and pee. Okay. You already peed. No, 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 no. You said. I'm not saying No, yes, you did. You said, oh, I'll be in the shower, you can come pee, and then we'll switch. You know what switching implies, Caitlin? That we will switch the person on the toilet. The person pee and leave. Oh, someone else is going to pee, so they'll come and switch. How many people are going to pee while you're in the shower, Caitlin? How many people live on the floor? Go count how many people live on the floor, Caitlin. Twenty-seven people are gonna pee while you're in the shower. If they have to, if there's not available, 
So then all of I'm the bathrooms option. are broken except yours. And you were the only one who got in the shower in time to sometimes, go. Sometimes, Julie, you have to do what you have to do. Like, people have to drink their pee sometimes. <laughs> to survive! <laughs> and that's it. If you hold your bladder, cases. you're going to, like, destroy your whole uh -huh. bladder system. Yeah. <laughs> no. Whitney Atkinson, where's my phone? Why do you think that I have your phone? I'm literally just, a, I'm it's on right my side of the floor. room. I'm just existing. She's Would you like, like to standard. apologize to your roommate nope. for being very hostile? Hold on, I got, I got my, I got you. Oh, what? You know what? I'm going to Google it. Hey, Google, has anyone ever thrown up their own poop because they held it in? <laughs> no, bitch, that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Google. Throwing up poop. So I messed up. It's currently 11.18 p.m. and I'm just now beginning to read this. I mean, I started it, but then people came and hung out and I had some cheesecake. <gasps> then I FaceTimed Sarah for like an hour and now I'm only on page 14 of this book, but it's good so far. I mean, I'm not hating it. I'm learning a lot in only 13, 14 pages. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think I'm gonna read until I can't read no more, which is gonna be probably tomorrow after midnight. So therefore, Hope you're having a wonderful life. Thank you for tuning in to day one. Veronica is leaving as well, so might as well be a good time to finish off this vlog. Veronica's going home. So once again, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time with tomorrow's vlog. And hopefully at least some point in this week, I will have gained the confidence to actually vlog in public. Whereas today, I, you know what, I, I failed. Bye everyone.